Alright, so another proof, and here they've given me some information. PQ and RS are parallel lines, and I can see that as well, because of the little arrows drawn on there. I might highlight them as parallel, just to help me see that. And what I'm being asked to prove is that A plus B is equal to C. So A plus B is equal to C for parallel lines. Alright, so go in with this idea that, you know, start with what you know. I know that these are parallel lines. Can I use that to kind of connect in any way C, A, and B? And looking at this picture, I notice that A and B are in opposite sides of, you know, this A is in one triangle, B is in another triangle. Maybe if I can find a way to put A and B in the same triangle, I can then start to relate them together. So the first thing I might notice here is that A, B, or sorry, the parallel lines here, make a Z angle, alternate angles. So I know that alt angles are equal on parallel lines, so this angle up here is going to be equal to A. And I need to show that in working, so I'm going to say angle Q, R, S is equal to A, Q, R, S. And my reason for this is alt angles equal on parallel lines. Next thing I notice is that I now have A and B inside of one triangle, and I can probably find out what this angle here is, if I want, as another way to think about it. So I might decide to say that um, I can make a relationship for that one. And if I'm going to try to make that relationship, I need to figure out what to call this angle. And so each of these points has been given a point name, like Q, P, R, S. So I'm going to actually label this and call it T. I wouldn't use C, because C is not referring to the point. It's referring to this angle in here. So I'm going to use the point T. And now I can say angle R, T, S. R, T, S is equal to 180 degrees minus A. Well, maybe I'll just write it out that way. Minus A, minus B. I could also say 180 degrees, factor out the negative, A plus B. So 180 degrees minus those two together will give me what's left for that angle, RTS. And my reason for this is angles in triangle sum to 180 degrees. Okay. Now, I've got A and B, and I'm the reason I'm working towards that if you haven't spotted it, is that this angle is next to C. So if I want, I can look at that as angles on a straight line and try to make a relationship to C, to the one that I just connected A and B to. So again, looking for something they have in common. RTS is 180 minus A and B. So maybe I can connect C to RTS, and I can do that by saying angle RTS is equal to 180 degrees minus C because I have angles on a straight line. So now I'm in the situation where I've got two ways to say the same thing, and I'm making a relationship. I've got A and B in one, and I've got C in the other. So you could do some rearranging if you want, in different ways to write this out. I might think about saying, I know these two things are equal, so we could set them equal to each other. 180 degrees minus A minus B is equal to 180 degrees minus C, setting those two expressions equal to each other because they're both equal to RTS. Subtract 180 from both sides. You're left with minus A minus B is equal to minus C. And finally, getting rid of the negatives on all the sides, times by negative 1, times by negative 1, I'm left with A plus B is equal to C, or C is equal to A plus B, which is what they're asking me to prove. And just for the fun of it, as an alternative way to show this, um, so again, one way or the other will work. I could have the expression like I found earlier, RTS is equal to 180 minus A minus B, this one here. And I could make the expression where I'm trying to find for C, so I might look for an expression that says C equals. So how can I relate C? C here is angle PTR, and C is equal to 180 degrees minus angle RTS. So RTS and RTS are the same thing. I can do substitution. 
So C, C is equal to 180 degrees minus, use brackets, 180 minus A minus B. When I factor that negative, sorry, expand that negative through, I get C is equal to 180 minus 180 plus A plus B. 180 minus 180 cancel, and I get C is equal to A plus B. So again, just trying to illustrate that there's often more than one way to write out the proof. So start developing strategies that make sense to you, and you'll kind of get into a pattern where you fall into the same way every time.